Thank you, John, and welcome everyone to today's IndyCar Media Conference call. Earlier today, AJ Foyt Racing announced that Tony Kanaan, the 2004 Verizon IndyCar Series champion and 2013 Indianapolis 500 winner, will be the driver of its number 14 ABC Supply Chevrolet IndyCar in 2018. We're happy to be joined this afternoon by the team owner of AJ Foyt Racing, racing legend AJ Foyt, the team's president and AJ's son Larry Foyt, and the driver of the number 14 car, Tony Kanaan. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. All right, AJ, uh, we'll start with you. Uh, your team, AJ Foot Racing, has competed against Tony Kanon in Indy cars for at least the last 15 years. What made him the pick for the same number 14 car for 2018? Well, actually, you know, I've always had the 14. I think Tony can put it up there with the 14 she used to run in that first. So I think he can do that. I don't say easy, but I know he can do it. <laughs> All right. Larry, uh, I, in the press conference you had earlier today, you uh, said that you've had discussions with Tony in the past about coming over to the team. How did it finally all come about for 2018? Well, I think it just uh, both of us were at a position where we could make it happen. And so that, that's really what it came down to. We, we both knew each other and had talked and had said if, if the time ever came available that we were that we could do something together that we would we would look at it seriously. So that, that's really what happened, and um, I think everybody was just ready uh, ready for a new challenge, and, and that's what it was. We know it's going to be a challenge, but just uh, we felt like together we could really put something together and start winning again. So that's just what brought it together. All right, and finally, Tony, uh, joining a legendary name like Foyt, uh, getting back with uh, your friends at uh, Team Chevy, which you uh, took to the Indy 500 uh, win. And uh, how excited are you for the 2018 season? Very excited. Uh, obviously, uh, we know um, we have um, you know, a lot of work to do to, to build the team to where we want it to be. I mean, I'm coming off of a, a very difficult season, so I think it was a time for us to, uh, to get together here with uh, you know, bringing my engineer, Eric Calton, which was part of the, the win at the 500 with Chevy. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're excited. It's uh, a great time for me. I think, uh, you know, driving for a legend like AJ uh, and, uh, you know, all the stories and what I can learn from him still, it will be uh, something that uh, I'm going to take it for, you know, for the rest of my life. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll put that 14 car where AJ, where AJ wants me to put it, which is going to be in, you know, in first place. <laughs> you mentioned the 14 car and AJ wanting it to be in first place. Um, you've driven... Uh, the, the number 11 was associated with you. You've driven the, an, a famous number 10. Uh, what about driving the number 14? Uh, is there any extra pressure just because it's the 14 and you drive for Foyt? Big time. I mean, I think out of the, all the numbers that I've driven through my career, that is definitely uh, the one that puts a lot more pressure on me. So uh, I'm going to have to, like, uh, to, make, to make sure that, uh, you know, I keep up the tradition of that number and hopefully... So we'll do that, but uh, we'll definitely. Uh, I was thinking about that the other day. I mean, uh, I can't wait for a uh, opening day in uh, at the 500 and put the 14 cars to do a lap like that. Especially me driving and you know having garage one for me is like uh, kind of cool. So uh, it's uh, one of those things that uh, I've always looked around and I said, "Oh, AJ can do this year. AJ can do that." You're like you know, he's uh, he basically owns the speedway. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to. Uh, you know, to keep the 14 where they belong. All right. Thanks, Tony. Uh, John, let's open up for questions for our guests. Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. If you do have a question, press star than one on your touchtone phone. If you wish to be removed from the phone, please press the pound sign or the hash key. If you're using a speakerphone, you may need to pick up the handset first before pressing the numbers. Once again, if you have a question, press star than one on your touchtone phone. And our first question is from Edmund Jenks from Motorsports Journal. Yeah, hi, Tony. Um, boy, this is kind of an exciting change. Uh, how do you feel the team will respond to uh, your style of driving and, uh, you know, what you brought to the series, uh, you know, all these uh, past, uh, well, 15, 20 years? Well, I think, uh, you know, the, the cars are changing, so how the 
the team is going to respond to that is basically what we're going to build. Uh, you know, bringing my engineer in, I think it's, uh, you know, it's a big help because he knows the way I like to drive. He knows the way I like to set up the cars. So I would say, for me, that's uh, it's a big step. We can, you know, come in and, and try to, uh, you know, to introduce my driving style to the dampers. And to, you know, obviously we don't know how the new car is going to perform. We still got to go test and see how is it going to behave. So everybody's pretty much starting from scratch. I have one other question, too. We uh, also heard recently that your great friend uh, Elio Castroneves won't be uh, on the circuit full-time, just uh, Indy 500. How is that going to feel, taking to, uh, you know, 16, 17 or so races uh, without uh, Elio in the field? Well, he's definitely going to be missed. I think uh, he was a, a big name in IndyCar, like, you know, like I am. We started together back in 98, so... Uh, Obviously, uh, he chose to, uh, to pursue, you know, another career as far as racing goes to another series. So I wish him the best. And uh, obviously, uh, I think, like I said, he will be missed. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Once again, if you do have a question, press star than one on your touchstone phone. And we have a question from Rico Ramirez from Area Grande. Tony, uh, it's been a long time since uh, we haven't seen you in Victory Lane, and we also uh, have noticed that uh, Team Foyt Coyote Racing hasn't been too successful. How are you planning to uh, come uh, with victories to a smaller team with new error kids, new teammates, and everything? Well, I think uh, that's why we got together, right? We, we both needed a change. We both needed some boost to put, put the team in victory lane, and we're doing everything we can. We have a great sponsor backing up, which with ABC has been with the team for 14 years, and uh, they, uh, they're they giving us every tool that we can to be able to make it happen. With the new car, I think, like, everybody's starting from scratch. I think that's our chance. It's our chance to, uh, to get ahead of the game with, uh, you know, all the resources that we have and the people that we have working for us and to put it back there. We both needed to go back to Victory Lane, and, and that's why there's a reason that we actually came together with this partnership to be able to do it. Thank you, Tony, and good luck. Thanks. Our next question is from Jacob Thielman from Performance Sports Sports. Tony, uh, first off, congratulations. I know uh, how big an opportunity this is for you to be able to drive for AJ. Uh, I know you were talking about Elio a little bit earlier, and it's kind of a, a different-looking IndyCar series now. You're basically kind of a last man standing from uh, from the old cart era. You and Elio were... Uh, is that? Is there any point where it, uh, it kind of makes you look back and, and go, wow, because... It's it's an interesting feeling, um, I guess, in a way, being the, being really the, the longest tenured guy in the IndyCar series nowadays. Yeah, I guess the only good people are the only ones that last, and I guess I'm the last man standing. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty proud of my career. Of course, uh, you know, we uh, I would I would go back 20 years ago and would have said that I was going to be here for this long. I, I don't think I could predict that. But um, obviously, uh, you know, year in and year out, People keep saying, you know, the old guys here and there, but we keep delivering. So I think uh, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you win races, I don't think people care. So we always care about winning. And I still think I can win. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that I'm still around. We can keep the tradition of the, you know, the, the old timers that, that we can still do it. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, that I had your left. But uh, we'll be here to represent. I am curious. Uh, I know you've done some time uh, away from IndyCar uh, with the Ford GT program and done some time in sports cars. Uh, is that something that you would consider uh, maybe on a more regular basis after your time in IndyCar is done, kind of like what Elio's doing? Yeah, I think I was, you know, obviously I just, uh, we're just signing a, a multi-year deal here, so I'm not really thinking about it, but the, obviously there's no secret that I, I would love to do the, you know, the, the endurance races, AJ won, you know, all of them, 
so I got to catch up with them. I, I have Daytona, but I don't have, uh, you know, I, I've been 24 hours, but I don't have the Le Mans, so I got to try to do that. But, you know, if it doesn't conflict with, with our program in IndyCar and, and it doesn't hurt the program, I will love to do it. And in the future, obviously, that will be something that will be interesting. But right now, uh, you know, it's... Uh, Definitely not. It's not going to be something that is going to be going through my head to, to, to do it a full time. Larry, uh, I actually have a question for you as well. Uh, and I just hear the enthusiasm from, from listening to Tony. Uh, what what kind of uh, a different dynamic do you feel like he's going to bring to the team, maybe a different sort of energy from what you guys have had in the past? Well, obviously he's got a lot of experience, which is going to, really pay with this new new arrow kit and figuring that out quickly but the one thing i think you know tony and i when we started to talk about this we looked at each other and it's, it's a lot of trust between each other you know i i had to know tony's not just wanting to ride out his last year that he's going to give 110 percent and he wants to know that we're going to put all our resources into the race team to give him a chance to win and that's uh, exactly the trust that we had to I think when we looked each other in the eye, we both knew that this is what we wanted to do and our goals were aligned, and, and that's why uh, we think it's going to work. Well, I know uh, I, I can tell all of you guys are excited about it. Best of luck to all three of you here for the 2018 season, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. Once again, if you do have a question, press star then one on your touchtone phone. And we have a question from Mark Phillips from Franklin Time. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Larry. If you could talk a little bit on, obviously it's great news today, but you'd be looking to fill a second car. What are you looking to, to maybe to, to help build around Tony? What kind of driver are you looking for to build the team around Tony? Yeah, that's, um, you know, really with the second car, we haven't made any decisions yet. We're... Uh, going through everything internally and trying to figure out what uh, what direction to go there. But um, this is, we've really been focused on getting this deal done with Tony and some of the big uh, engineering pieces here in the team put together. And uh, from there, we're, we're just having internal discussions and probably won't be too long. We'll try to, to come to a decision and move forward with that. But uh, so don't really have an answer on where that's headed just yet. And if I could do a quick follow-up, how, how important was Tony's obviously great oval success in his career to being part of this, this decision? I, you know, yeah, of course, uh, it's, it's wonderful to have an Indy 500 champion on your team and someone who can, you know, uh, came close to winning a couple of races this year. At least, I think he leads every one of them as soon as it's the new car. So, obviously, that's a big part, especially for our, from our, you know, history and the, the importance we hold to, to Indianapolis and the 500. But, uh, you know, we want Tony because he, he can and, then, you know, wins everywhere. So, it, so that's, that's the most important thing, and I think for us, just his experience of, of, of being on some bigger teams and, and what he can bring and just, just help, uh, and obviously his, his enthusiasm is, is infectious and, and is getting all of us motivated, and I think he's going to be great with our sponsor, with ABC Supply. That's, they're one, they, bring, they do this for their people and, and bring hundreds of people to every event, and I think that's something Tony's going to be great with as well. So it's just a great package all the way around. All right. Thank you. We have another question from Rico Ramirez from Area Grande. Yes, Tony, also, uh, you switching from uh, Honda to Chevy. How, is, uh, how are you taking that difference? And how do you plan to adapt to the new car? Yeah, I mean... It it's hard to tell. Obviously, I, uh, when I wanted 500 in 2013, it was with Chevy. Then we switched, we switched engines. Um, you know, uh, I think Chevy has, over the past years, caught up to, to the Honda, especially at the speedway. So we uh, we strongly believe that we're going to be extremely competitive. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, I have some feedback probably to add and try to, uh, to, to help them out with some of my experience. So... The plan will be just to really, uh, I got to drive the car to be able to tell you something more, but right now it's, I think we have a pretty good package. Thank you, Tony. Hey. Once again, another question from Edmund Schenck from Motorsports Journal. 
Yeah, hi, Tony. Um, you know, uh, with this new package that's coming out, uh, from what little we're able to learn from, you know, statements that people make, uh, that it's, you know, it's going to be a little freer, a little bit looser. Okay. Um, I was wondering, what have you heard from the people who have test drove this? Did you get any insights, uh, any direct conversations that you had? Yeah, I heard the same things you've heard. The car has a lot less down force. It's a little bit more uh, sketchy, difficult to drive, which I think is it's a good thing. It's going to make more difficult to the drivers. It's going to make a lot more challenging for the engineers. So uh, I heard the same thing. That is definitely a, a huge amount of down force taken out of the car. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to drive. And uh, and what's your reaction to that? I mean, is it like getting back into carts or what? <laughs> I like it. I mean, I like it. We should, you should be able to drive the car. I mean, you cannot just, you know, engineers should be able to help you, be helping you, but not. They shouldn't dictate who's qualified or winning races. So anytime you have to drive the car more, I, I'll be up all for it. So. Well, uh, thanks again, Tony. And, uh, yeah, I wish all the best for A.J. Foyt. Thank you.